Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this daily diet planner in Word. So I'm going to open a new document, and this is my default A4 page. First thing I'm going to do is to go up to Layout, and then I'm going to go along to Margins, click on the drop down, and select Narrow. And that's just going to decrease the size of our margins and maximize the area we got to place our table. Then I'm going to go up to insert, down to table, click on the drop down and go down to insert table. Six columns and 28 rows and then just click OK. So as you can see my table is not quite lined up as the way it was in the demonstration so as my cursor is in the top left here, I'm just going to hit the return key just to allow me to move the table up and down freely, as you can see. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire table. Then I'm going to go up to layout. And then I'm going to increase the height of my rows to 0 0.8. Just give me just a little bit of extra room to write. Press enter. And then you can see just the shaded areas are up to the top of our cells. And I want all of the text that I'm going to enter into these cells to be in the middle. So again, select the table. You can either select the table by clicking on this top left square, or you can simply click and drag up your table. Then make sure you're on layout and go to this center align tab here. That will mean that everything you now type into your table will be in the center of the cell. So the top cell here, we're going to merge all of these cells to allow us to put in Monday for our first day. So select all of those cells, go up to layout and select merge cells. Then I'm going to type in Monday. Now here we'll type breakfast, we'll go along to the next cell pop in lunch, dinner, and then snacks. Then in this cell here, we'll type food. And then in this cell here, we'll type calories. Now at the end here, I'm going to put the total. So I'm going to merge these two cells here. So we don't really need this top cell and this cell. So this one, we just need the total of your daily intake of calories. So select these two cells go up to layout and merge cells and here we can type in total and then in this box here which is where you'll put your total for the day. Now it's really important that during this section here you customize this to fit your needs because what we're going to do is once we've finished what all we're going to do is to copy and paste all of what we've done in this section. So if you want to change the font or you want to change the size so let's just change Monday go to the home tab, I'm going to increase the font size once to 14 using the increase font size icon and I'm going to make it bold using the bold icon here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the height of this cell here but I'm going to do that at the end because it won't actually copy and paste the heights of cells. So once you're happy with this layout we're going to highlight everything in these four rows we're going to copy it by hitting Command or Control C. We'll go down to the first empty cell here and press Command or Control V to copy. Now you'll notice these cells haven't merged, which is absolutely fine. It's very simple to come do, come back and do that at the end. Go back down, Command or Control V again, down to this cell here, Command or Control V. Continue on down until you have all of your cells covered for seven days. Then we'll just go along and merge this one. Go back up to layout, merge cells. We'll change that to Tuesday and continue on through to the rest of the table and do exactly the same. Just merge them and type in the correct day. So again, we'll merge these two cells here for the total. Just highlight them, 
go to merge cells continue on doing that all the way through and then we can just make this row here a little bit taller because it allows you to put in some more food but you can see we've only got so much to play with if we want this all on one page so let's highlight this row here then go back up and I'm going to type 0.99 whilst I've typed it I'm just going to highlight it all and copy it so when I do the other cells I could just simply type uh, just simply paste that in so you can see now that row is slightly higher than the rest let's go along here do the same highlight it command or control V enter highlight this row make sure you're on the layout tab highlight it all paste press enter let's do that one again paste enter I like this one paste enter I don't think this one worked now I've got a little bit of extra room at the bottom here but we need to put the title in if you don't want to put a title in you can make these rows here a little bit taller to allow you to write in more for your food now again we can move these cells over if you want to to give yourself a little bit of extra room and then we can move the total over if you want to and what you can do is you can highlight these all four of those and you can go up to layout and you can go down to distribute columns and that will make all four of these columns equal. You just go along and do that to all of them. Okay, in order to sort out the outlines, if you see on our uh, the design, we've got these darker outlines around the main body of some of the, the entries. So what we'll do, in order to do that, if you highlight just the top section, just go from that cell upwards, there we go. Go to table design and along to this section here. This is all the things that you need to customize your borders. So on the drop down here, by default, it will usually say a quarter. If you just go to the drop down and go down to two and a quarter, you've changed the weight of your border. Go to the border icon here, click on the drop down and go to outside borders. So what you're doing is you're placing the border around the section you've highlighted or you've selected. So if I click on outside border, you can see it's given the outside border to just the section I have selected. If I'd have only selected one cell, then the outside border would just be around that one cell. So let's say, for example, Monday, I've got my cursor in Monday. If I go back up and click, because we're on outside borders already, you don't need to go back to the drop down. Just click it and you can see, again, that comes up there. And again, we can go along now and do exactly the same to all of those. Just click on Tuesday and click. Perfect, so now all of your borders are in. We can go back up to the top. I'm just going to press return. And once you press return and you gain an extra page, just hit the delete button because you don't want an additional page. You can come across to the left here in your rulers and where your cursor changes to a double headed arrow you can click and drag down to reduce your margins yet more if you can't see your rulers go up to view and then along to rulers and make sure that's checked now go back to your table put your cursor at the top press return again and you can see you've just gained a little bit more space at the top and less space at the bottom so now let's put the title in, insert, go to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and drag. Now we've got this text box, if I click away from it you can see it comes with a black border and a white background. So if I try and move it you can see how it is um, inserted into the document. So we want to get rid of both the background and the border and just have text left over. So to do that just select the text box, go to shape format, go to shape fill and select no fill, that means no color, and then shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline. Then click inside and just enter your title, daily diet planner. Then in order to change the text and size, just highlight it go to the home tab and you can do all the changes you would normally do 
when associated with font. I'm going to use the Increase Font Size tool because it's quick and easy. Then I'm going to underline it and then I'm going to center it within my text box. But although it's centered within my text box, this text box isn't actually centered because I've just thrown it around the page. So what we need to do is to go to Shape Format, make sure it's selected, go over to the Alignment tool, click on the drop down and select Align to Center. And that will ensure that your text box is now perfectly aligned in the center of your page. And there we have a perfect printable daily diet planner for you to print out and use as and when. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.